Hey guys, welcome to a big video. Today we're going to go over the timeline that has been revealed at Star Wars Celebration UK on April 7th. It's currently April 8th, around 4 in the morning right now. And I'd like to go over, before we get new information, because the new live stream panel is just about to begin. They're a little bit late, but uh, I hope to catch it once I finish this video. The new timeline that they will be covering, tons of content, shows, and movies, I imagine, um, I think it's limited to shows and movies. I don't think they would be putting these into just books or just comics. I think it's all like media projects. So what we'll be getting are essentially right here. We start off with Dawn of the Jedi, and this is a project helmed by James Mangold, who uh, did Logan, really great film. And he's going to be covering 25,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, 25,000 years before Episode 4 A New Hope. Obviously, this is a time period in Star Wars that we have all been very curious about. We've all wanted to learn more about. Now, if I can give you a bit of a, a history um, with the Dawn of the Jedi, it is far before the Old Republic. The antagonist at this time in Legends, unless they're going to redo the whole thing, in Legends, it was the Rakatans. I have a great video that I made just about a few months ago on the full Rakata history. Uh, so you might want to go check that out. It'll uh, help jog your memory, but I'm sure once these shows and these, these movies come out, um, I'll probably have that re-uploaded or, or something like that. Dawn of the Jedi essentially covers the Tho Yor, just like the comics, Dawn of the Jedi. The Tho Yor were these different spaceships that would go to different parts of the galaxy, collect different sentient beings, bring them all to Tython, which we saw, which we were introduced to in The Mandalorian Season 2, bring them to Tython, put them to all different parts of the planet, drop them there, and then over time find out which ones are force sensitive and the ones that weren't had to go. So this was very difficult for people who, you know, were losing their mothers, fathers, relatives, whatever it may be, just because they weren't force sensitive. And they were shipped off to a moon, to a different planet, they were gone. And the planet was centric just to force sensitives. This is the dawn of the Jedi. And then of course, come in, you know, the Rakatans, which were a very powerful species, alien species, very nasty beings. And they had a lot of very advanced technology that, uh, you know, the Jedi at this time didn't have. And they weren't really Jedi, they were just force sensitives. But then eventually they become Jedi and the first Jedi is born and so on and so forth. And of course, on this planet, there are people who are a little bit more dark, a little bit more light. And there were planets, there were moons revolving around this planet called Ashla and Bogan. Ashla was the light side moon. Bogan was the dark side moon. If you were very dark side, you were sent to Ashla to combat the dark side in you and vice versa. If you were very light side, you were sent to Bogan, which is the dark side moon to get a bit of a balance. And this is essentially where the idea of balance comes from. And I think that's why this dawn of the Jedi right here is symbolized in darkness and light because it's the perfect symbolism for being balanced with the force. And I think that's one thing the Jedi of the prequel trilogy messed up on is that they felt, uh, you know, balance was really about just being purely light side and and they just crumbled. So anyways, the dawn of the Jedi. It looks eerily similar to this, which is on Octu, and this is supposed to be, you know, the first Jedi sort of thing. So I'm thinking that all of this dawn of the Jedi stuff may actually go to Octu. I hope it's on Tython. I really do. But, you know, they do take a lot of inspiration from legends and they switch it around and you know add their own planets and, and new characters and you know, just change names around but essentially you know we kind of know who they are who they're based off of and so i think that octu might be the new titan but i don't know this snoke looking being this first jedi looking being this whatever being of the dark and the light i believe is what the dawn of the jedi is going to be all about and it's probably going to explain a lot of stuff with the sequel trilogy i suppose or explain stuff with octu i don't really know i did make that connection with the symbols so you guys let me know then we're going to go to the old republic this is revan this is malak this is malgus uh, essentially you know what bioware created back in the day when we first saw them with the games star wars the old republic and of course knights of the old republic fantastic games and i am very excited to see them finally capitalize on this era in star wars which i think is arguably probably more interesting than even you know the original trilogy and prequel trilogy despite you know it being of course about anakin skywalker the high republic is the new disney stuff that they created to fill the gap between the old republic and the prequel trilogy fall of the jedi is the age of the republic the clone wars prequel trilogy anakin being found uh, all that stuff reign of the empire essentially starts when 
Revenge of the Sith ends and the Empire is born. This is how Liberty dies. Thunderous applause. And so that's pretty much the reign of the Empire, and it goes all the way up until A New Hope, which is 20 years later, and that's Age of the Rebellion. So Age of the Rebellion happens, original trilogy, that ends. We get Return of the Jedi, we get the New Republic, which is all, you know, the Mando timeline, Boba Fett timeline, then the Rise of the First Order, that is, I think, about 30 years after the Age of the Rebellion. Then after Rise of the First Order, which is the end of the sequel trilogy, after Episode Nine, we get the new Jedi Order, which is the new Rey movie that they want to make, which is 15 years after this. And that will take place uh, with Rey, and that, that will govern, um, essentially focus on Rey's story as she creates a new Jedi Order. Essentially what Luke Skywalker did in Legends, and what Luke Skywalker, I believe, should have done in the sequel trilogy, but, you know, they gave us what they gave us anyways unfortunately so that is essentially the star wars timeline now we have dave filoni making a movie around this timeline the new republic we have james mangold making a movie around dawn of the jedi and then we have uh, i forgot her name she's making the ray movie new jedi order timeline there's a ton of other timelines in here obviously that aren't mentioned yet however fear not because we're probably going to get a lot of content around them i mean the acolyte takes place in the high republic and then you know a lot more other stuff we're probably going to get like the old republic i'm excited to see what we're going to get for that because dawn of the jedi is far before that so maybe after that we'll get you know something old republic style but this is all pretty cool i'm pretty excited for everything that they have slated for us i mean i hope it's going to be handled really well you know, I don't really have any sort of qualms or worries about anything that Dave Filoni does because so far Dave Filoni has been absolutely amazing and I think he really understands what Star Wars is about and I, th I believe that he truly respects George Lucas, um, which is more than I can say for some other people working at Lucasfilm and Disney right now, but... I have no fear that Dave Filoni will lead us in the right direction. As for the other creators, you know, I, I like James Mangold for his Logan movie, but other than that, I don't really know him for his other projects. That being said, Dawn of the Jedi, I mean, you can't really mess that up if you stick to a lot of the source material that we have, uh, despite, you know, what Kathleen Kennedy said, that Star Wars doesn't have any source material. Now, going forwards into the high republic there's a lot of content that they've created already with the books i haven't personally read them i tried to get through the first one it seems somewhat interesting but it just um i felt it was kind of dull and i just got a little bit bored over time but I, I would like to take another crack at it at another point and see you know let's give this a little more of a shot because a lot of content is going to be created around it so we also have the the game eclipse star wars eclipse being created and apparently this is also going to take place in the high republic as we did see Yoda in there. The cool thing about the High Republic is that Yoda does exist in this timeline, as well as in this timeline, this timeline, and this timeline. So Yoda spans these four different timelines here as he is about 900 years old. And then of course, you know, as a ghost forever. But I am very interested in, I would say, these two here and probably the New Republic because that covers between six and seven where Luke Skywalker is still Luke Skywalker in my opinion. So I think there are a lot of really cool projects that we're going to be getting. I just hope that they're going to be handled really well. And I'm excited that they're actually venturing outside. The main thing to take away is they're venturing outside of, you know, that, 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 the, the prequel trilogy and original trilogy and the sequel trilogy. So they're venturing outside of the Skywalker saga, if you will. And as much as I love Anakin, as much as I love Luke Skywalker, you know, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, I would love to see more of Star Wars, more of the galaxy of Star Wars. And I, I'm really happy that they're taking us on this ride that goes to other eras. Now, will they handle it well? Time will tell. Uh, have they learned from a lot of their mistakes? Time will tell. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, at least we got some cool news regarding different timelines that we're going to be expanding to. And for that reason, uh, I'm looking forward to it and I'm excited to share it with you guys and see, you know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching this vid and I'll catch you all in the next update. May the force be with you.